Gabriel was uh, referred by another student of mine, Ryan Medina, who also was a, he's a wrestling coach at Warren High School. Gabriel came in, didn't wrestle, he played just football in high school, and for the first month or so he came in, he was real quiet, didn't talk hardly at all, just came in, did the work, but he was improving, like within one month, he was submitting people with moves we learned the week before. He's like, he's a sponge and was picking everything up so fast. I've been training Gabriel for a little over two years now. You know, Gabe had no, no prior MMA, no martial arts background, just was very raw, but he had tons of natural talent. I always liked the idea of fighting. My parents weren't a big fan of me doing it from the beginning, and so I kind of had to wait until I could pay for the gym myself. I'd like to think of myself as an uh, all-around MMA fighter, but I definitely do like striking. It's uh, probably my favorite part. Um, not that I can't take you down or choke you out, it's just I like to bang. I had my first uh, amateur fight after being here for like two months, and uh, it's the only fight that I did that wasn't a finish. I come in here and train pretty much as much as I can. He is equally talented as he's as the amount of work he's willing to put in. I personally have not been able to get him tired. There's no quit, like, whatsoever. If you, and he never questions a thing you say. Whatever you tell him to do, he'll do it 100 times. He's the easiest person to teach, and his work ethic is priceless. Uh, most people that he's fought so far have not been able to keep up with his pace. God brought sparring partners in for him, and they kind of try, think they're gonna weed out that first round, and then they'll start picking it up on him in the second and third round, but he never slows. The hardest part about being a fighter, uh, for me personally, that weight cut at the very end, oh, it's terrible. Because I played football a little bit when I was younger, and then um, I kind of just stopped playing football, and then I just was getting bigger and bigger and bigger every year. And then it was like I was in high school, I was 256, and I was just like, man, I was big. I remember I looked at myself one time in the, in the mirror, and I was just like, I got, that's got to that's gotta change. Gabriel, outside the gym is I mean, just as good as he is inside the gym. He's just a real good guy, came with a good family, has tons of family support. Um, I had him on my amateur shows fighting six times, and you'd have 150 to 200 people come out to support him. I haven't found anyone that doesn't like him. I mean, he's just got a great personality. Um, like I said, he's a dream student. I'm pretty, like, laid back and easy going. Just, Nothing really bothers me, except bullies. That really bothers me. Just people in general who talk down or think they're like better than you or like just like are condescending and like power trip people. Really hate that. He goes 100, 100 miles per hour, and that's his biggest asset. Is people cannot keep up with his output. I know I don't like to make bold predictions too much, but I would have to say yes, 100%. Gabriel Green will be a star to look out for.